Every single week, there's a new model, there's a new update. It's really hard to keep up. I recorded this video a couple weeks ago, and my workflow has already changed because the models are changing so much. Recently, you had Claude 4.0, and then you had Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then all these different open source models that are coming. The space is moving so fast. It's a great time to be alive, ladies and gents. But today, I want to talk about my AI coding workflow. In my coding workflow, how do I use AI? I'm going to start all the way from the idea stage. So when it comes to ideas, really, they come to me in various places. We're talking a shower. We're talking Twitter. We're talking maybe some my own problems that I'm experiencing, challenges I'm experiencing that I want to build software to solve. Um, innovation, right? There's certain things, certain technological sectors I follow, and I would like to think, oh, maybe I could innovate here. I could build something awesome here. And a lot of dialogue and discourse with ChatGBT 4.0. I will be honest, in terms of daily non-coding driver, I actually really enjoy ChatGBT. ChatGBT is a great assistant to ask questions to plan with to you know if i want some information on how taxes work or how this works obviously don't take financial advice from an ai model but you get what i'm trying to say right so you're going to see in this workflow a lot of human old school infused with ai like nothing beats ideas in the shower but I really do enjoy Chad GBT 4.0 when it comes to the idea stage or even asking like, you know, deep research to fire off some research on like certain sectors. Like, you know, a couple of days ago, I was looking at our laundromats, a good business, right? Like, does it make sense to buy one? How much money do you need to buy one? At what level uh, of success does it make sense to make that type of investment? So that's the idea stage. Now, there's a stage I call Envision. And Envision is basically me building a very simple prototype for me to see it. I'm a very visual person. I, I, I need to see things to understand it. I'm more of a video person than reading, although you should still be reading because reading is important. So if I have an idea, the first thing that I almost want to do is build like a simple version. And there are a couple ways I do this. First, the model that I use is Claude, Claude 4.0. Claude is honestly just mind blowing. It's great. I've been using it a lot at work. It is on the pricey side, but I will say this. It is very effective um, at coding better than any other AI model that I've seen. So let me maybe give you a quick example of what I mean by the Envision site. So I'll use Tempo, which is the uh, company I work at, and I'll just spin up like a simple project. So let's just say, let me just spin up an empty project, an empty React V project. At this point, I don't really care for the tech stack. I just want to see what I'm building. And there's a couple cool things about Tempo that I really like. First and foremost, um, you can toggle on Claude for Osonet, which is fantastic. But second of all, we have this thing, let me go here, called local mode that a lot of people don't know this, right? So let's say I wanted to build uh, just something simple on Tempo, but I wanted to carry on on whether it be Windsurf, Cursor, or whatever IDE of choice. You're going to see this VS Code icon. You're going to click it here, and you can sync your Tempo project with your IDE of choice. So I can start here and continue on my IDE of choice. And the reason this option exists is I'm a developer. I like to work off an IDE. Many developers do as well. So you can start ideating, try to see the vision at Tempo, and then you can continue on your project on whatever IDE you choose. And I'm gonna show you how to actually easily set this up. So you're gonna copy this terminal command over here. I'm gonna use Windsor for this example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm on my terminal here. I'm gonna make sure I'm on desktop and I'm just gonna make a folder called local and I'm just going to CD into local meaning I change directory so I'm in the local directory and then I paste this terminal command I hit enter and what's going to happen is it's literally going to sync with my tempo project so I can see here that it is successfully synced I can click on explore open folder go to desktop and then open the local folder click on canvas if I click open I will see my tempo project here live. So this helps me during the envision stage where I can prompt uh, tempo to build something here. And then if I wanna continue to carry on from this envision stage, I can hop on my IDE of choice. So between tempo and being able to sync on my IDE, these are the perfect set of tools for me to envision. So Claude for local mode and tempo I'm envisioning seeing, building a quick prototype, just seeing the vision, the idea I had, and seeing if this is something I want to build. Once I get to that point, I start to plan, and I only need two things to plan, ChatGBT 4.0 and Linear. 
if you don't know linear, linear is like a organization tool that teams use in order to track issues for developers and designers and all that type of stuff. I use it to build out a plan for how I'm going to build the project. And then I start to track each step I take. So right now I'm building something and there are two things I'm working on. I'm working on setting up authorization and passes expiring prematurely. And then I have some stuff in the backlog. I have some things that are done, right? I'll use linear to track uh, to build my plan and to track my progress, but I'll be using chat GBT 40 to even come up with the plan to come up with the tickets to uh, plan out what makes sense for me to build first and watch and what way should I take this right. So planning really for me is chat GBT 40 linear and if I need to take notes, I'll use notion. And again, I'm trying to show you every step of how I build software, the AI tools I use and how I use it. Now, for the last step, it's the building phase. And when it comes to building, I only need an IDE and Claude 4.0. And I have been experimenting with Claude code. Claude code is pricey, a very, a, probably the best agent for uh, programming. So I've really been, I've really been using Z a lot as my IDE of choice. And I know roast me, I'm using light mode, not dark mode. Listen, Deep down inside, we all know it. Light mode's the best. So I'll switch between Zed and Windsurf. For a fact, I can tell you Claude 4.0, whether it be Sonnet or Opus, is my daily driver of choice. Now, I showed you where I get my ideas from, how I envision my ideas, how I plan them, and the tools I use to build them. What tech stack do I use? What framework am I using? What tools am I using? The next couple videos, I'm going to be sharing with you two powerful starter kits that I've developed. One is React. The other one is Next.js. I know you're going to love it. I know you're going to enjoy it. Give me some time till I polish it up and make it fire. I'm not even exaggerating when it comes to my starter kit. Um, the last one that I dropped, a guy named Alex, I kid you not, I met with him in SF, really nice guy, built a SaaS using the template and made $300,000. I'm giving it away for free. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're liking. Make sure you're commenting. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to drop these starter kits. They're coming very, very soon. In the meantime, here's how I plan. Here is my AI coding workflow. I'll see you in the next video. You have a good one. Peace.